Hello there everyone, this is Alan Funny Moment back again with another review on the right shocking. Uh, today we are reviewing the Lego set 75049 Snow Speeder. This set has 359 pieces, came out in 2014 of course, and the retail price I don't remember really, but so it was released in 2014, 359 pieces, has three minifigures, but I only have two because I'm missing the other Rebel Pilot, but yeah, let's get into it. Let's start with the figure. So here's Luke. Now the thing is, when I bought this off the seller, uh, it didn't come with the Luke, like the actual torso and all that from the actual set. So I ended up using the X-Wing pilot Luke from the um, this year's X-Wing, and it come with the head. Here it is, the one side. Here's the other side for the like goggles. If you could focus right there. And then I used the, the Red Five helmet from the uh, X-Wing. But yeah, I like this this Luke Skywalker head is my favorite because it does it does look more accurate to Mark Hamill than the other ones. But yeah. Snow Trooper. And this is a less detailed, of course, doesn't have like detail, and that's the newer version. It has that like Jangle Feb face from the uh, older Jangle Feb before they use like actual more accurate one. At this time they're using these for clones. Here's the back. It's not really detailed. It's less detailed than the more newer snow troopers. But yeah, I mean, it's a decent figure, but at least for now, with the more newer figures, with the more newer snow troopers. As here, I will compare it to the more newer one. Here it is. You can see leg detail. It looks basically the same, except there's leg detail and it's a lot more better. Here's the head. But yeah, it's snow trooper. Let's get in to build the snow speeder. So here it is from the front look. Oh. Here it is, here's the sides. Here's the underbone. It has your own. Swing loaded shooters. I put these stands because I prefer these and the one that came with. It came like three pieces under there. But I decided to replace it with the stand instead. Here's the other side. And here's the back, like the engine, the spring loaded shooters. Here's the hook that they would use during the Battle of Hoff to go ahead and uh, hook it to the AT, AT in order to take them down. You can obviously lower it down like that. And if you have an ATAT, -AT, you can put it together to make it look like the snow speeder is going to go and take out the ATAT. -AT. It was supposed to have like a little gun here to, to shoot it out like that. But mine doesn't. So yeah, I mean, it's still pretty much complete, but mine does not have it. Here are the cannons, obviously. Here's the inside of the flaps, I think these are like the engines. Here it is, the other side. Here's a side logo and like the uh, snow speeders on uh, cockpit. And there's two ways to open it. You can open it like this, like that, to access the front. You can of course put Luke, Luke, Luke Skywalker in there, like this. There you go, it's closed. You can have him in there. Or you can just, oh crap, mine just came out. Okay, we're back. So it just disassembled by accident. I'm sorry for that. So, okay, anyways. Um, so you can open the cockpit. Like, you can do one way you can open that. And then you can open both to access the back cockpit. But you're like tow cable pilot. So let's just put Luke in there as an example. This is the pilot who's supposed to operate the tow cable. You can get him in there. And there you go. You can get him in there. You can also get the front pilot in there. But you can fit too many figures inside of this um, snow speeder. Snow speeder one for the front, which is the main pilot. The other in the back to be the tow cable gunner. And it does have a little place to put your blaster in there. Pretty cool. But yeah, it also has the, the under flick fire, oh, 
spring loaded shooters right here in the back. You can always just shoot them out. There you go. It's basically just like spring loaded shooters. Get it back in there. Oh, <laughs> that was a fail. Let's get to the instructions now. I'm so sorry. So here's the front art. Obviously shows the Battle of Hoth. It shows um, it shows um, the spring load shooters. It shows that it does have a cannon for the build, but mine did not come with that, so it's pretty much missing. And you can see like the what I was talking about the uh, cable on the back with the gun, little blaster. So here's the back. I like the winning thing sets. They're like all the category minifigures. I did not know why they started showing Rebels minifigures at this time. 2014. This was not the 2015 wave yet. To my knowledge. So I did not know why they showed Ezra and Chopper. And they weren't even out yet this time. That's whatever. So here we got our minifigure. The minifigures that are supposed to be in the set. As you can see. Luke. And then the Rebel Pilot for the tow cable. These two are from the B-Wing. These three actually. Jack, the Stormtrooper Jack. Then the Sand Trooper, Luke, and Tatooine, and then Obi-Ben. Obi Han, and then Greedo, and then Stormtrooper. An AT-AT driver, I think. ATATL, uh, that's an engineer. Another stormtrooper. Some battle droids. Naboo, guard. Qui Gon, and Obi Wan, and Darth Vader. And here was like a little promotion for the for a website they had up at that time. For that's obviously no longer a thing. Here's the part list if you want them. Obviously, but most likely anybody does not want them. You can just look at the instructions yourself. This set will take you 54 pages in total to finish. Here's how the finished product would look like. And it shows the show 21, but it's actually 54. Here's the front. It shows like the Lego guy like taking out the bags. And this will take you three bags to complete. This, the first one includes Luke and the cannon build. The second one includes the snow trooper. The first, the third one includes the rebel pilot for the tow cable. There's your front again. There's the um, symbol that I did show you that's 2014. And yeah, I would give this, uh, I feel like I would say a seven. I would say it feels to be orange and maybe a little bit of a better build. I feel like, yeah, I could definitely give it a more higher star rating. Because I feel like this is a pretty good build. But seeing the more newer versions that came out, like later, I feel like, yeah, they could definitely improve. I do hope we could get another one. Like, maybe around, like, 2024. I don't know. Maybe, like, it will make some, remake some. But maybe, hell, this year's way, but I doubt it because... The rumored sets that are currently in place are most likely going to be the sets to come out. And I doubt we'll ever get another snow speeder again. Until like a few years later, HUD, then we'll get another one. But yeah, I mean, it does have three minifigures, but I'm also missing one. It's a pretty good build, I would say. Even though that, if you can, go to Bricklink, get some orange pieces, though, you just orange on there instead I feel like that would definitely fit the speeder more than the gray I don't know why they got the idea of using gray that's why I lowered it down significantly because of the usage of gray pieces anyways I'm rambling too much it's been funny moments 31 another set review of course and peace out